develop but you also have to know what you're places. looking for right like yeah. you have to know what you're looking for and so the part where you learn what you're looking for is the complicated part i know one of the most famous blaze battles is my nigga breeze he battled my man pumpkin head rest in peace i think that's on youtube you can pull that up yeah but i'm more interested in this moment about your journey through all of this so as you're making the music and shopping the demos, you're also involved in battling at this time in a more formalized way, like in that right. early part of the scene. And not many people have described what it's like in that era that much. So I was hoping you could kind of walk us through a bit of your experiences as the inceptions of what would lead to Grind Time and Fight Club and all this stuff was happening. Um, walk you through the, the battle stage with the track. Well, like your experiences <laughs> with it. Like you were involved going in, through right? the fight clubs and all that. Yeah, like just yeah, I'm like I didn't, through. I didn't know that you that you was at Fight Club too. Yeah, I did Fight Club too. Fight Club, that was just when Fight Club popped up. It was just the thing that I kept hearing about, and it's like all these nice niggas was doing it, and and, and oh, you had to be invited. It was exclusive only, like, and it just started. Like, I keep it real. Fight Club was an ego thing for me. Because it was like, well, yo, what y'all trying to say? I'm not invited, nigga? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it, that's when Fight Club started for me. And my first couple, my first couple Fight Club, I went as a spectator just to see if they was going to try to front. Like, oh, you can't come in. Like, I, I kept hearing it was invite only, invite only. So I remember it, they had some secret location shit. I wound up getting a location. I went down there, Dolo. And when I went down there, I started seeing mad niggas I knew. Mad niggas from Washington Square Park. Mad niggas from the hood. Mad niggas from battling in Harlem. Like, I just started seeing faces. T-Rex and, you know, I'm mean, Mook and little niggas I've been seeing grow up around the hood all, all my life. Like, oh, y'all down here? Oh, I, nah, niggas ain't front on me. So then they opened up. Ain't nobody say nothing. I walked right up in there and I watched. I, Fight Club kind of changed my life because I was looking at niggas bet, niggas rapping, niggas was smoking in there, niggas had money on the pool table. It was just like a whole atmosphere that was just like, oh, nah, I like this. You feel me? Oh, and it's hood. And oh, shit. Oh, niggas is arguing. Niggas might fight. Oh, ain't nobody gonna fight though. Oh, all right, take it outside. All right, but it was love. You know what I mean? Aggressive nature, but love. You know what I mean? I like it. I got involved immediately. I, I spoke to who I got to spoke to. I wound up battling this nigga named BK. That's, I mean, shout out to my nigga BK, white boy from Brooklyn. Me and that nigga went like nine rounds, boy. They couldn't decide a winner. We just gunning. You know what I mean? And I battled a couple other niggas that probably nobody, but I destroyed these niggas. And then I was trying. And then they started getting up on MTV, so... I started going down there trying to get up on there. I ain't know I, I I didn't manage to get on MTV. That's when they were focusing on certain niggas like Sirius Jones and the Gins and you know what I mean they they had Wait, these certain, you, yeah they had you these didn't you said you didn't manage to get on MTV. Nah, I ain't, I ain't do I ain't never yeah. got on MTV. Yeah, no, nah, they they were very. That was not a they they. I mean, when you look at it, it was like what one battle an episode. Yeah, and like and they, like it was it was they always did like. Shout out to International P because he definitely started a wave, and I think yeah, he, he, I think him and my boy Direct, Smack, Poison Pen, all these niggas is credited for the way battle rap is now. Yeah, mm, because absolutely. they all had a <clears throat> error. They all added to battle rap by ushering their own error. Poison Pen was the first nigga I seen throw a battle event. You know what I mean? Poison Pen was the first thing I seen throw at an event where it was just a battle. Like, I went to a hook.com battle event. Like, I, I, I participated in a hook.com battle event. You know what I mean? Poison Pen put that together. So that shit was just... And then, you know, Smack had the DVDs in his era. International P had Fight Club. He had the, the, the little secret location link up event type shit you know what i mean and then direct started this online shit like so all them niggas have their little 
that's like my Mount Rushmore for the, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, the, yeah. for the for the Godfathers of, of this battle of, rap of shit. the beginnings, you know what I mean? Yeah, of, yeah, of, yeah. So. Because because there was we 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 know goddamn well right because you spoke it about uh, history um, right. in hip hop right so it's not to discount um, all the battle rap history that happened before that but what we modern day now know is battle rap was formed through those people that you mentioned and and their accomplishments and the things that they did what people right. now know is battle rap like. Battle uh, uh, rap battles that happened in 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 rap and in, in hip hop is different, and battle battle rap even back then um, was totally different, you know, than what it is now, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Then it's so, totally different. Totally, like here's an totally. example. When you just described the entire environment of what it was like to be there from your perspective. It's mad different than the Sarah Connor uh, perspective, which is mad different than the Poison Pen perspective, because you're coming at it from the shit where it'd be like more like what I would think if I was in the room. So I thought that was super cool, or even the idea of nine rounds, because nobody could decide. Nobody said that to me before. I'm like nine yeah. rounds. I had to yeah. go that long with it. What? So that like, shit made, you which know, was me and BK. Me and BK actually became cool because of the Fight Club. Like, I'm cool with BK to the day. We actually did a song together called Torture Chamber. And to this day, right, he's a good friend of mine. You know what I mean? Because of yeah. that day. Because me and him left Fight Club like, yo, I was looking at him like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, my G. I thought I had you that third round. He was like, yo, I thought I had Like, we left there laughing like, yeah, yeah. we know we wowed the whole room. Like, nobody was like, everybody was like, yo, these niggas is gunning. You know what I mean? So yeah, that kind of stuff that's is how, really helpful, and that's it's amazing. The kind of energy that we put into it. it. But right. just hearing your perspective is so great, and just because this is again, you're the guy I'm watching on YouTube, body people, right? So like, I want to hear your story. I want to hear your adventure through this. How did you get there? And it's so fucking cool to hear that you go through this. You're I, like, yo, I, I want to get into fucking secret. Okay, fuck my, that. My I'm gonna go put that work in. <laughs> Hello. 